Welcome back to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. Now exclusively on Spotify, powered by Anchor. Why? While I think it's um, Spotify for podcasters now, I'm not sure if there's an Anchor still. But anyway, if you're listening to this podcast, thank you so much. If this is your first time to listen to the show, then welcome to the show. If you like this episode, go ahead and check out the other episodes that we have here. Because this is going to be an exciting journey as you start to invest in yourself, start investing in personal development, and of course, you know, just learning and growing so that you can make better decisions for yourself and for the people around you. And if you're an avid listener of the podcast, and welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for always investing in yourself. Thank you so much for always, you know, tuning in the podcast and coming back and just learning and learning and learning and learning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate you. I truly honor you. And I'm just excited for this exciting journey that we are about to embark as um, I have been posting on my Instagram and my Facebook account. Uh, I have gained a certain knowledge that People are more are really interested in listening to a podcast daily. So my biggest announcement for you guys, and I have never done this ever. Okay, this is the first time that I'm gonna do this, and you guys are gonna be the first people to be a part of it. And this is the daily podcast. That's right. Every single day we're gonna do this. Every single day. You're going to get a lesson, an insight, um, an advice as me, you know, as well from me that can help you in your life. So if ever you have any questions, don't hesitate. Send me a question. I'll answer them right in, uh, you know, for, if you send a question in my Instagram, I'll answer them here on the show. But I'm so excited because every day you and I are going to be accountable for each other so that we can grow in the next following months. So I'm calling this, um, I don't know, maybe the Project 100 because I'm looking at 100 episodes every single day. And we'll see what can happen or how much growth we can get at the end of 100 days. And this is day one. Day one of the daily podcast of daily reminders, of daily advices, daily insights, and daily knowledge and wisdom to you guys, okay? And as we are starting this daily podcast, I want to start off with sharing with you a daily reminder that I always tell myself. And this daily reminder has kept me afloat for almost five years now, okay, ever since I started hearing this quote, this was actually the start of um, the pandemic. Here, even before the, the start of the pandemic, wow, no, I, I just realized now that it was 2017 when I started using this phrase, started really um, reminding myself of this phrase so that I uh, do not get lost because. If I'm going to be honest, most of the time, I also feel overwhelmed. I also feel anxiety. I also, you know, ask questions, doubt myself. I also question the bigger plan. And, um, you know, I sometimes feel lost and confused. And this reminder has helped me move throughout the day. I mean, move throughout the days where I just couldn't pull myself up. And this reminder is none other than my favorite quote of all time. Okay. You're not ahead. You're not behind. You're exactly where you need to be. You, you are exactly where you need to be. And a lot of people get so frustrated especially when they see other people on social media. When they scroll on social media, they'd see 
you know, a 22 year old getting houses and mansions and cars and building this multi million business, or their their um, you know their classmate in high school is now getting married, um, <laughs> on their second kid, third kid, building a nice family as they're posting on social media, or this one friend who travels the world, goes around and buys things that he or she can buy. And what we do is we tend to compare ourselves to people on social media. But that's truly unfair for us. Because, because first thing you know, at the top of my mind is everyone's just posting their highlight reels online. It's not even the real world. It's not even the real life. The real life consists of the highs and the da- the lows, the ups and the downs. But people are posting only highlights on social media as, you know, maybe it was meant for that. I'm not arguing that. But our minds, subconsciously, we compare ourselves, our downtimes, to their highlights. Sometimes we compare our chapter 1 to their chapter 10. Sometimes we compare our own track to theirs. And it's truly unfair because you're not ahead, you're not behind, you are exactly where you need to be. And that just means that everyone in this world is running their own tracks. Everyone in this world has their own timelines. And this is a great reminder for you to also accept that if you are struggling right now, if you have a hard time right now, um, you know, and you feel like there's a, a constant struggle, you feel that there's a constant uh, there, there's a lot of obstacles in your life right now. If you feel that way, then I want you to know that you're exactly where you need to be. And some people might say, Alec, how can you say that? I'm struggling right now. I mean, and you're going to say I'm exactly where I need to be? Yes. Because there's beauty in the process. There's beauty in the struggle. There's beauty in the chaos and that that beauty will allow you to see how amazing your life is how amazing the results at the end is because if i'm going to be honest if it's not going to test you if it's not going to challenge you you don't want that if it's easy everyone would have it and you don't want what everyone has the reason that there's a struggle, there's a challenge is mainly because the good things in life, they require time and they require patience and they require you going through the process of becoming that person so that you can have the things that you truly want in this life. So wherever you are, you are exactly where you need to be. And the sooner that you accept that, the sooner that you can actually do something about it, the sooner that you can acknowledge that, okay, this is where I am right now. Okay, I wish it wasn't. I wish it was better. But it's not. It's it's just this point in my life. And the moment that you let go of what could be and what should be and just accept what is, that's when your life will change. That's when it will get easier for you. So always remember that that this daily reminder has helped me and maybe this is something that could help you too. You're not ahead. You're not behind. You're exactly where you need to be. And so that's it for today's podcast. 
I hope that you like this episode. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give it a follow and a five-star rating if you're on Spotify. And if you like this, go ahead and share this on your Instagram so that I know who is listening to day one. Okay, we are at day one. We have 99 days to go. I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys and really just looking at you know how much we could grow with this with this daily podcast thing and I'm just super duper excited. So yes, day one people, go ahead and share this on your Instagram. Don't forget to tag me at Alec Cuenca. And yeah, also check out if you are into more finance, abundance kind of thing, go check out The School of Bliss by Coach Yanni Moya. Where she's also doing her daily podcasting. It's going to be amazing for everyone. Go check it out. And yeah, see you tomorrow for day two of the daily podcast. See you again tomorrow. And thank you. Thank you so much. This is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. Now exclusively on Spotify. See you again tomorrow. Peace.